Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're here to talk about the two new i-series lenses from Sigma. We have a 24 millimeter prime and a 90 millimeter prime. For those of you who don't know about the i-series lens, uh, they are a compact all metal lens. Uh, they are robust, it's a very sturdy lens. Um, they have all metal interior parts and uh, they're comparable to their art series lens. To be honest, I didn't know anything about the i-series lens. Uh, when I picked these up, I, I just knew that they were a high quality lens. I went out shooting and I you know, realized that I had two completely different lenses. I've got a 90 millimeter f2.8 and a 24 f2. Um, I didn't have a huge opportunity to shoot portraits on one day with the 90 millimeter, which is what I assumed that this one would be really good for, but I did have the 24 and I went out to shoot landscapes. All right, when I was out on the beach, it was a pretty moody day. It was on and off rain uh, most of the time. So I, I focused on trying to get some, uh, a variety of different shots, you know, using these two pretty drastically different lenses. Um, 24, I focused on a little bit wider, uh, more landscape style photography and the 90 millimeter, I, I focused up closer on park benches, palm trees, uh, and, and just tried to create a little bit of a mood with these two different lenses. The thing that I most enjoyed about these lenses was the aperture ring. Uh, I haven't shot with a lens that has had a manual aperture ring in years, and the ability to change your aperture just by feel, because it clicks every single stop, is amazing. I absolutely love the feel of these lenses and working with them. I was honestly shocked when I saw the results of the imagery. Uh, the sharpness quality uh, was outstanding. Uh, I don't expect that from a lower series lens, but like Sigma says, they are comparable to the art series. Went on a location shoot yesterday and I just happened to bring these lenses with me and I utilized them for a commercial shoot, which typically for a test lens, I wouldn't necessarily trust um, to be able to utilize them for that, but. Uh, I stuck the lens on and I just continued to shoot with it. I loved it so much. There was at one point I contemplated going back to my trusty 24 to 70, but I just stuck with the 90 and the 24. Everything was just working out great. There was a little bit of a distance between the model and I, so I popped on the 90 and I was able to shoot right over the counter and get right up and close uh, as the model was grilling up the food you can really appreciate the bokeh that was happening. You know, we were able to focus on the food and let the background fall out of focus. So you're really concentrating on, you know, the main, um, the main goal of this commercial shoot. You know, I've always shot with Sony, but after shooting with these Sigma lenses, I really want to add them to my lineup. Who do I think these are geared towards? I think uh, intermediate to professionals. Uh, it's a compact lens that's easy to take with you and it's very high quality. Thanks for watching. If you like this type of content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel.